Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem from Engineering Statics by Hebler. The problem says that the engine of the lightweight plane is supported by struts that are connected to the space truss that makes up the structure of the plane. The anticipated loading in two of the struts is shown. Express each of those forces as Cartesian vector. So here we are given F1 which is acting from C to D and F2 which is acting from A to B. So we are required to represent both of these forces as a Cartesian vectors. So as we know that F1 vector will be equal to its magnitude. So its magnitude is 400 times the unit vector from C to D since uh, F1 is acting from C to D. So we can write that uh, this unit vector from C to D can also be re written as the position vector from C to A divided by its magnitude. So we can write it as 400 and we need to find this position vector. So we need to locate uh, that point D. Uh, this uh, F1 is acting from C to D. This is not A, this is D. Let me write this is D right so from C to D so we need to locate this point D from this point C so what we can do to locate that point D is that we need to move uh, 3 feet distance in the positive along the positive x direction right so I can write that we need to move 3 feet distance in the positive i direction then we need to move this small distance in the negative y direction and this small distance is 0.5 feet so we need to move 0 0.5 feet in the negative uh, j direction and then we need to move this small distance and this small distance is again 0.5 feet and this is along the positive z direction that is in the positive k so i will write plus 0 0.5 k so this is the unit vector this is the position vector from c, c to d similarly we can find its magnitude so the magnitude is 3 square plus 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.5 square so 3 square plus uh, 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.5 square so this is 3.08 so this magnitude is 3.08 and if I divide this 400 by 3.08 400 divided by the answer so this gives us 129.78 so this is 129.129.78 so now if I multiply this with each and every component so we will get the Cartesian vector representation of that force 1 so 129.78 into 3 so this is 389.34 i minus if we multiply it by minus 0 0.5 so we will get minus 64.89 and similarly we will get plus 64 this is along j and plus 64.89 along k and the units are in pounds. Now we need to find F2 Cartesian vector. So we can write F2 as uh, its magnitude. So F2 magnitude is 600. So 600 times the unit vector from A to B. So the unit vector from A to B will be the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude. So this is 600. And now we need to locate point B from A. So this is a little bit tricky, right? So to reach that point B, uh, we need to travel this much distance in the negative z direction. And this distance is 3 feet. This is 2.5 plus 0.5. So we need to write that we need to move minus 3, uh, 3 feet distance in the negative k. And then we need to move this much distance in the positive y direction and this distance is again 0.5. So I will write 0.5j in the positive y direction is positive j. And then we need to move this distance in the negative x direction. 
and this distance is 3 feet right so I will write minus 3 i and then we need to move this distance in the positive z direction and this distance is 2.5 feet so again we need to move 2.5 feet in the positive k direction so I will write plus 2.5 k so now we can simplify this if I take k common so this will be minus 3 plus 2.5 so minus 3 plus 2.5 is minus 0 0.5 so this is minus 0 0.5 k so minus 0 0.5 k so now this is the position vector from a to b so we can find that magnitude again this is 3 square plus 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.5 square so we can find this magnitude using the calculator so if I find this magnitude so this is equal to 3.0822 and if I divide this 600 by that answer so 600 divided by that answers gives us 194.666 let's say so this is 100 and so F2 194.666 into the position vector minus 3i plus 0.5j minus 0.5k so f2 now we need to multiply this with each component so 194.67 into minus 3 so this is minus 584 approximately and then multiply by 0 0.5 97.34 and minus 97.34 k so this is the Cartesian vector representation of f2 and this is the Cartesian vector representation of f1 this is the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like these videos if you people want me to solve more problems from Hebrew statics.